All right, guys, GoToBoy32 here. Check it out. So I'm sitting in my home away from home. We're back hard at it. Just received an email from a super guy named Patrick Moore. Patrick, thank you so much because up until now, I really haven't paid a whole lot of attention to this because this, West Virginia HCR8, it's a long shot and it's going to take a lot of fighting to do it. But it, what it does is it sends a message and it really chaps the ass of Mr. Northam up there in Richmond. And I hope it does because that jackass, for some reason, thinks that, well, all Virginians think like leaders do up there in Richmond. And they don't. People often ask me, say, how are we going to beat this thing? Well, we're going to beat it because the Democrats in Richmond are so far gone that they have alienated the grassroots Democrat who are in the rural areas. And in that case, I believe that those Democrats who are in the rural areas probably will not vote the traditional manner in which they did in the past, but they're probably going to vote for the wisest decision. And that is not going to be for someone who replaces Northam in the upcoming election. That guy has lost his ever loving mind. We can agree to disagree, that's fine, but at the end of the day, uh, we need to sit down and, and listen to each other and do what's in the best interest of Virginia. They are constitutional, they don't threaten the Second Amendment. Their, their purpose is to keep Virginia safe. Over two million people voted. And you know what, they, they spoke and they said, we want common sense gun legislation. So yes, I have to listen to everybody. Yesterday, I listened to 22,000 people. On November the 5th, I listened to over 2 million Virginians. And so, you know, we're going to do work together. Again, sit down at the table, find things that we can agree on, and at the end of the day, make Virginia a safer place for everybody. Besides that, the people who are in Richmond, well, you know what? They belong in D.C., not in the Commonwealth of Virginia. So, Let's do this. Uh, well, the video consists of uh, an interview that was being taken place or a, a news conference or a press conference at Liberty University in Lynchburg, Virginia, where Mr. Jerry Falwell uh, is the president. Now, Governor Jim Justice from West Virginia came in to talk about the uh, West Virginia HCR8, and that is basically an invitation to the counties of Virginia to basically join West Virginia. Now. In doing so, it's basically a long shot. There's going to have to be a referendum. They're going to have to vote on it on a county level. Then it's going to have to go to the state. And basically, it's 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 basically essentially this. I know I'm going to talk like that. Okay, so it's sending a message to the elitist, the communist, the leftist who are up in northern Virginia, who don't belong to the Commonwealth because they don't recognize the other individuals and the citizens of the Commonwealth as citizens who are worth a damn to make a vote on. All right. Basically what it is is that uh, <laughs> Governor Justice is embracing and welcoming all the counties, those patriotic counties, those, uh, what do you call those, uh, uh, the counties who have basically turned their noses up at the governor and said, we will not adhere to these ridiculous laws. Even though he sits there and goes, well, the Virginians want this. Governor Blackface, no, the Virginians don't want that which is incredible. So I'm what I'm going to do. This is the video right behind me. And I'm going to put a link to it down below. I encourage each and every one of you guys to please go take a look at this thing. It was just released a couple hours ago. But it literally, the, the, the speech that Jim Justice gives at the very beginning is so overwhelming. I, it almost made me want to jump up and run laps around my block out here. Simply because it's inspiring. It's truthful. Jerry Falwell gets up and he talks about Richmond, and then they talk about how Richmond, the the counter, the, the, the surrounding uh, areas of D.C., the people who work in D.C. proper are now living in Northern Virginia, and in that way they have a right to vote for that. Where they should, what they should do is increase the outer limits of D.C. to encase these people because those individuals are voting the D.C. way, not the Virginia way very unique and basically what they said is that it's going to be a long shot but it's worth it it sends a message just like the guys up there who went to richmond for the uh lobby day which is interesting because you have somebody like aoc who compares uh the black lives matter march and where all the people were arrested to this where no one was arrested except for the one lady and they left the place looking better than when they showed up Typical gun people. You evil, evil gun people, toting individuals. You, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Well, anyway, 
The only comparison is in the city of Baltimore, they gave them an area to destroy because they knew what that was going to do. All right. Well, anyway, the really cool part is I just I had to do a video after I saw this. Patrick, thank you so much for sending this my way. I am just impressed. I'll leave the link right down below in the first uh, line of the description. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Jim Justice, I salute you, sir, and I salute the rest of you Virginians up there. The rural areas, you are Virginians. The Richmond, they're not. They are the ones who should leave. It's Code Boy 32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who support our Constitution as it was originally written by our founding fathers. 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is never free. We're going to be going out and shooting the uh, CMMG Banshee in 45 ACP tomorrow. Hopefully we can rank some steel. It's Code Boy 32. I am out.